Today, we are going to talk about the cell cycle. To begin with, who knows what is the interface? Me. Is the longest phase in eukaryotic cell cycle in which the cell grows and starts the process of cell division by replicating DNA. Very good, Diego. You have a positive. But the interface is also divided into three different phases. The G1, in which there is a checkpoint called G0. The S phase, the G2, and finally mitosis, the phase in which we are going to base our class. Okay, who can tell me what mitosis is? Me, 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 me. It's a process of nucleus division through which two daughter cells with the same number of chromosomes as the parent cells had are formed. Well, Paula, you also have a positive. But mitosis is also divided in four phases. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. But some scientists believe there's a fifth phase between prophase and metaphase called prometaphase. But we know all the names of the phases of mitosis. Mario, explain me the first one. The chromatin condenses and forms chromosomes. Then the nuclear membrane disappears, and finally the centrioles move to the poles. Okay, Mario, you have a positive. I thought you weren't going to answer well. Talk about the second phase. Later, tell me about metaphase. The chromosomes reach their maximum condensation and they align in the middle of the cell. The microtubules of the spindle reattach to the kinetochore. Perfect, you have a positive. The alignment is due to the counterbalance of the pulling powers degenerated by the opposing kinetochore microtubules. The next phase of mitosis is called anaphase. Leo, what can you tell me about anaphase? I don't know anything about anaphase. Should I take away your positive? No, no, no. I know that the sister chromatin separates. That's true. The sister chromatids separate, then the spindle becomes shorter and each chromatid moves to a different pole. And now the last phase of mitosis, which is telophase. Paula, do you know something about telophase? Yes. Daughter chromosomes migrate to the end of their corresponding cells. The fibers of the spindle disappear. Nucleus and nuclear envelope are reconstituted.
this is perfect, but I'm not going to give you another positive because you forgot the most important step, which is cytokinesis. Cytokinesis is the process where the cells divide completely. Thanks for your attention.